I'm testing grip sizes the way no one has before. So there's a few tests on grip sizes out there where they look at the different sizes of grip and they look at how the golf ball changes in terms of flight relative to the grip. And then they say, oh, hang on, you've changed the swing weight, so the swing weight might factor into it. So why don't we test it and make the swing weight exactly the same on every single grip so we isolate just the change in size in your hands. I've got a Shrixen ZX7 Demo Club with a Modus 120 stiff. I've got the standard grip. I've got a plus four grip. The plus four is slightly bigger on this bottom half, so it slows down your right hand in theory should leave the ball to the out to the right hand side again in theory but does it do the same when the swing weight's the same and then we go plus four mid-size so plus four mid-size same as that one bigger on this bottom half but just a jump bigger and then we're going to go for the jmx ultralight jumbo max giant grip yes the one that bryson de chambeau uses so when we put a heavier grip on the club the head feels lighter because you've got more weight this end of the club so what that might do in theory is give you more release through the ball so if you've got more weight up here giving you more release through the ball but then you've also got a grip that's slowing your hands down how does that work we'll find out so i've got a hole here about a seven iron distance and i don't want to hit too many shots with each grip i don't want to be able to adjust to each grip i just want to swing it see what comes out and then just go for the next one yep a big high draw lovely and yes, this is a two degree upright head. So the head is more upright this way. So it should throw the ball left for me. I prefer it flatter to hold it out to the right hand side. And I also love an excuse. But if the bigger grips slow the hands down, leave the face more open to the right hand side, it's just gonna expose that a little bit more for us. Ugh, horrible swing, but same sort of shot. Nice high draw, 176 carry in the bunker. Safe to say, that's what's gonna happen with this grip, with this low angle for me. Let's go and change some grips and just see how the ball flight differs or whether it differs. So firstly, let's measure the swing weight on this first test club and see where we are. So we are at D3, which is quite a standard swing weight. When it goes heavier, we go D4, D5, D6, and then into E. When we go lighter, we come down to D1, D0, C9, C8, C7. So we come towards the C, D, E element in terms of lighter and heavier. So D3 is the target when I put this grip on there. So if I rest this shaft in there without a grip on it, then put the grip on here to see where it balances at. So for this grip, I only actually want a quarter of a swing weight extra to balance it up to D3, very minimal. And the way that I do that is I get some lead powder and I put this in here. I know that's about quarter of a swing weight. I pour that down the shaft and then I re-measure and we are spot on. When I measure it without the grip on, I measure it at D2. When I put the grip on, it goes up one swing weight, but I will re-measure before I go and hit it, just in case. And now we've got the grip on, we've dried it off and we are at and we are at precisely D3, perfect. One thing to note here is it's quite a sensitive thing. If I put the business card on the end of this club, we fall out of scope. So just the weight of a business card changes the swing weight to D4. So a business card on there gives us a whole swing weight heavier. So sometimes people get really tied up on swing weight and they don't need to, unless it's miles out of scope, which could happen with a jumbo grip compared to a standard grip, for example. If you're going to a plus four, it's literally a little, little tiny bit in difference. So let's have a look at what the difference is in the plus four. Again, I'm picking the same target. I feel like I'm putting the same swing on the ball. Still got that high draw working. Okay, but it has held out not in that left bunker, which is a pretty good start. Nice. Probably why I quite like the plus four grip. All right, again, same target, same intention. I've caught that a little bit heavy, turned it over, but not turned it, turned it over. It's keeping me away from that left bunker, just enough to be noticeable. Again, same target, same intention. And I've shanked it. Ignore that one. <laughs> what a terrible swing. Let's ignore that and do another one. Water. <laughs> I think I stood a bit too close to the ball. Don't do that. That was better. Again, quite a uniform sort of flight, apart from the one before that, obviously. It's just taking the edge off. We'll look at the numbers in more depth at the end, but let's go for the next grip. So with the Jumbo Max grip, which is mahoosive, what would the swing weight be if I didn't do anything? 
I just want to take that previous powder out because it seems like this isn't that much heavier, it's just bigger, which is a very good benefit of that. Normally when you go bigger in the grip, they are, they've just got more mass, they've got more material to be able to give them that girth. Now being ultra lightweight, there's a benefit there where it doesn't get much heavier. Nice, okay. Right, that grip is on. Let's give it a double check. Firstly, make sure it's on straight. Not quite. There we go. Beautiful, let's give it a bash. Right, we're on the Jumbo Max. Again, same target, same intention. I only want to hit three shots because I don't want to get used to it. Oh, that feels odd. <laughs> okay, definitely not going left on that one shot, but it did go higher. Shot number two, same intention. Oh, I've drop kicked it. Oh, it's trying to turn over. It's trying, my natural default falling in. Bunker. So not the best strike, trying to get left, but didn't quite get left. Be interesting to see what the change in launch angle is, because that does look like a higher flight. Better contact. Yeah, high and not left. So I think that grouping's moved over to the right hand side, but it's also moved up. So I want to see how much exactly shortly. Let's go plus four mid size. So raw, what is this going to come out as? So I think this is going to be a heavier grip. Oh yeah, we're way down in swing weight. We are at C9. So I need three swing weight points, which is about one, two, Three, let's see how good my guesswork is. Now what you would normally do when you're swing waiting is you'd put the powder down there and then you'd put a cork down there to stop the powder coming back out. I haven't been doing that, I've been leaving it in the bottom because I know that I'm changing it around. So we're moving back up the scale. Still not heavy enough, needs a little bit more. Craw, I need two more. My guesstimation's out of sync. One, two, there we go, we're on D2. Let's put the grip on, which will bring it up to D3. Lovely, where are we at with that? Oh, I should do this as a job. D3, let's go. Now, obviously the overall weight is heavier because I've got a heavier grip on there and I've used more weight at the bottom end to balance that up. So the overall weight is increased. That could be a factor in swing speed, but at least the balance is the same, which is what I'm trying to isolate in today's test, just to see if we can get some results that absolutely define what they are. Nice, launching fairly high. Little bit of shape, not too much. Similar sort of flight. Again, I feel like I've repeated the same sort of swing. It has turned over a little bit. This is why I didn't go in order. I kind of went up and down size-wise. And last shot, because I feel like I'm just starting to adjust the different grip sizes, which I don't want to do. Tiny bit thin, fairly high at the pin or just right of. Okay, short, fine. Right, let's see what the numbers look like overall. So the first one I had was like, it called itself hybrid. So I just forgot to put something on there. Carry wise, I'm looking 188, 184, 183. So the peak heights are all looking quite uniform. They're looking quite similar. I did have one shank that I need to take out of the plus four, I believe. Yes, that one, that one needs to come out. So I've only got three groupings on here and I haven't got the standard grip on there, but I've got the plus four Jumbo Max and the plus four midsize. At the top there, you can see one, two, three in a row. And we've got the Jumbo Max in the blue, which is the which is the furthest right of center. And then the next one up is the plus four midsize and the next one up is the plus four. So as the grip gets bigger, we go further right. Now the groupings were fairly similar. I had a slightly tighter grouping with the plus four. Plus four with 187, we get the biggest, we go 180. We go not quite as big 183. So if they were in order, we'd go biggest, second biggest, and one bigger than standard. And we also get a similar thing with speed. So speed, the bigger the grip is, the slower the ball is. And that launch is a little bit higher on the two biggest grips and a little bit lower on the on that one there. If I take out, if I compare and take out the Jumbo Max and put it back in the standard one, the standard one, okay, I'm a bit slower, but I'm lower. I'm lower there with the standard grip, so I get higher launch with the bigger grip and I get more distance with the smaller grips because I've got more play, more speed to release into the ball when it's bigger. I can't hit it left, but I can't hit it as fast. Standard grip, 29.4 yards left. Plus four, I'm, and I'm 12.7 yards left. Plus four midsize, 6.4 yards left. Jumbo max, I'm zero. I'm absolutely neutral in terms of direction on this. So it's right of everything else. The biggest grip goes short and right. The, lo the smallest grip goes long and left, which is actually quite consistent from when we do this test without looking at the swing weights. It is quite a uniform thing. I think the heights are quite interesting for me where the bigger grip, okay, yeah, 
player, like they go out to the right more, but they flick up. So if you hit the ball too low and too left, big grip's gonna help. If you hit the ball quite high and right, then a smaller grip's gonna help because you're gonna get more release through the ball and more closure in terms of the club face. When we're looking at a plus four grip, it's not too far away from standard, so we don't compromise too much. When you're going mega, we get big differences. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like videos that you see here. I like to do tests, I like to isolate things so I can work out the difference between one thing and another. Drop in the comments if you think there's anything that you noticed on here that you've done yourself or anything that you'd like to do yourself because I will always reply while the channel is still quite young.